Good morning, this is Pam, Flower Patch Farmhouse, and this morning I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my back deck where I enjoy sitting from time to time. Start right here. This is where my sliding glass doors are to come out from my home. And I have a bamboo here given to me by a friend and I grow my bamboos on my deck in pots so they don't have a chance to get away from me in the garden. But back here is where we have our seating area. I have all kinds of Japanese maples, begonias, and shade-loving plants there. I just pack it as full as I can so it's like a jungle. And we created this wall so it makes it more like a garden room on our deck. And it's just fence boards and old metal roofing panels, which we both enjoy that rustic look. And over here is my potting bench and my coleus down there. I, that's a little old six pack I bought and planted in that container. It's doing great. And it just has filled in and I've been clipping and starting the clippings for other things. I have a bird feeder on. That's a bird cage holder I, and it works great for the feeder. And I'm going to show you over here is this is an old galvanized tub that I had that fountain up there in and running but when I scrubbed it up because it was gotten kind of slimy I don't know if you can see the rust spots there those are all now holes it rusted through I guess the slime was keeping it from leaking but anyways now it's gonna be a planter I went and bought another galvanized tub I went to a feed store and this one was about $23 but it makes a great little fountain if you don't like the shine um, of a new galvanized tub. It's very easy to paint it with like a primer color that's kind of dull and it turns out great. In fact, I have a can of paint that I may paint it with and or I may switch it out with a, another old tub I already have and just let this one age naturally out in the garden. And here, this is from Raccoons. They knocked it off. It was growing beautifully up on my rail and they climbed up there and knocked it down. They also, this is my pitiful salad garden. They also tore the tomatoes off my plant. Uh, this has been the victim of some of that herbicide um, tainted potting soil. It's the herbicide that does not break down. And now you can see what a pitiful site that is. This was the only container I used that potting soil in and it's the only one that looks like this. So the symptoms of, I should say symptoms, you see how these they're kind of curled up, yellowed and yucky. That is all signs of that herbicide. So I'm making sure I don't buy that potting soil, though I had used it before and there was no issues. So I don't know for sure that's what it was, but it just Everything I planted in there just did poorly and I did another one down in my garden and it did fine. So the only difference was the soil. So here is another thing. What is this? A window box. This is a self-watering plastic window box. I got it from Walmart. I had put some leggy old petunias in. I even, even um, videoed it. They were long and leggy and looked worthless but I popped them in here, trimmed them back, and three weeks later, this is what I have. And it's doing beautifully. How the raccoons didn't knock that one off too, I don't know. But the one that you saw fell, fell not to the ground. I am going to pop those into the garden, and then um, I'm gonna put something different in that other container for fall. I'm probably gonna plant it up with violas and stuff. They overwinter here great. This is my one and only canna lily I tried this year. I have been enjoying it. Um, I'm not sure if it'll overwinter. We will see. I'm gonna put it in the greenhouse. I have a couple lavenders are ready to be pruned down here. And if you notice, these are actually black plastic pots, but I painted them with a vintage white and they resemble crocs. When I put my old crocs out here, um, a lot of times in photographs you really can't tell. I was going to show you another one over here. And it just makes all the pots um, kind of just 
the colors blend together and they're not ugly like old black plastic as well as it helps to keep the plants cooler because it reflects the sunlight when it first when it hits on these pots rather than getting hot from being black. Now along there I have more Japanese maples behind the table and umbrella and the umbrella provides enough shade that they don't get scorched from hot sunlight. And over here is such a statement piece. Yes, I have these folding racks for hanging my laundry out. And I wanna tell you that just from not using the clothes dryer this summer, we have saved over $40 on our PG&E bill. So $40 a month, that could buy me a lot of plants. So to me, it's been worth it to hang the clothes up as well as we just love it the fresh scent of line dried clothing. And there we are back around the circle to the um, sliding glass door. And that lovely piece hanging there is my husband hung up a thermometer that we could see from in the house. Um, that definitely needs to change. He's not into things for beauty's sake. He's more practical and doesn't even think of how ugly something may look. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed my little short back deck tour.